Hi, it's Clark from Temptress. Well, I thought I'd take a few minutes and tell you how we maintain the bottom of the boat when we're out cruising. If we're back in the States or some really populated area and we need to do big projects, we hire a guy with a travel lift uh, at a boat yard to pick the boat up out of the water, put it in a yard, prop it up with jacks, and we go to town. But when we're out here and we're doing, or anytime we're doing smaller projects, it's better just to put us down underwater and deal with the problem. It might sound kind of insurmountable to get under there, but with the right gear, and the gear doesn't have to be expensive, it's, it's, uh, it's actually easier. The most common thing is to dive down, check the condition of your zincs, and maybe put a new one on. Uh, doing that by holding your breath is challenging. Uh, it seems to take 10 times longer because you're concerned for breath. So, it's really great to have a hookah. And a hookah, also called a surface supplied air device, it's like scuba without the tanks. It lets you go down and dive and swim around and breathe underwater. And it is so handy to have. It's good if you want to go fishing in a place that allows it, not the Bahamas. If you want to um, do work on your boat, of course, or you just want to go sport diving and you know have a long time underwater. Uh, scuba's great, and I do scuba, but refilling the tanks can be a problem out here. And also, it's just so much gear. This is a lot freer. Uh, but with a limited range because of a hose. I used to have a super snorkel, and this is left over from my super, super snorkel hookah rig. That was about, geez, about a $3,000 device, and it had a gas engine. It was a really good device, but over the years, the engine just kind of wore out, living in a pretty harsh environment. So I kept the hoses and the regulator, and I bought one of these. And this is the main reason for this video. I want to turn you on to this. These can be had on Amazon for under $250. It's a oilless compressor. It's a three-quarter horse, horse, 12 volt motor, and a little tank and everything else you need. Uh, it's really for like filling up car tires and stuff, but it does the job. And I hook that up to some jumper cables and I can clamp these right onto a battery and turn on the switch and on it goes and it makes all the air that you need to dive relatively shallow, plenty of air to do the bottom of the boat and that kind of a thing. Um, hookahs are very expensive pieces of kit, so knowing this trick could save you a lot of money and it worked a charm. Other things you might need, uh, well you will need, obviously you need fins, you gotta move yourself around. Uh, you wanna be able to see what you're doing, so you need a mask. Still nice to have a snorkel sometimes if you're just working on the surface. If there are any barnacles, you need gloves. The barnacles that grow on the bottom of a boat are absolutely razor sharp. They're so sharp that when you cut yourself with them, you don't even know you've been cut. And at the end of the day, you can just be shredded up. It can be really bad. So you want a piece, pair of cheap gloves, and these won't last. The barnacles will cut through them. But can't overstate that. If there's barnacles, you need gloves. If there's barnacles, you'll want to use a hard scraper. If there isn't, if it's soft growth, which is what we had last time, like two or three inches of soft growth, a brush does the job even better. Another thing uh, is really handy is this. It's a pair of suction cups on a handle. And it looks like nothing, but this saves so much energy. You clean a bit of the boat real good, jam it on, and then uh, you've got a handle to hold on while you're doing the other work. It saves you from having to like kick your fins and try to hold yourself in place. So definitely you want one of these. Also, really cheap on eBay or whatever. Finally, these little Lycra hoods. Now, all the things that are living on our boat when we're not using it, build like a little uh, community. And in that community are lots of little krill, lots of little invertebrate larvae. And when you disturb their home, they're looking for a new home. Well, they're gonna be all over you. It's not a big problem, you take a shower, they rinse right off. But they'll go in your ears and they'll get in your hair. So get one of these. Um, <laughs> you look like you're about to rob a bank, but it makes the dive so much more pleasant. Beyond the compressor, uh, you need some hose and you want a good quality hose that won't kink because this is your air. Uh, I used regular uh, plumbing fittings, the same as garden hose style fittings, but all in plastic so they don't corrode. Uh, at the end of the hose, uh, I connect on this regulator 
Um, and it's a regular scuba regulator. You can breathe through it. Anyway, I guess this is one of my must-haves. I would really recommend this particular compressor, but any kind of hookah, if you're going to go out for extended periods of time. Makes your life better. Uh, I had all this, but you know, you could find a used regulator. Think about scuba gear. Everybody gets wildly excited when they take a scuba class and they buy gear and they put it in their shed and uh, 10 years later they say, I want to sell my gear. So you can almost have this stuff given away to you, but you, you just need the regulator part. Uh, the compressor here is about, it's under $250 on Amazon. I'll put a link to it down in the description below. But uh, this one's proven to work pretty good for me. So anyway, if you like this idea, um, you could put a whole hookah together that's perfectly serviceable for like 300 bucks instead of 3000 bucks. And the big savings is you'll have a way of doing your own maintenance. If you have to change out a propeller, or you just say something weird's happening down there, I want to know what's going on, you've got gear to do it. As you get older, it gets harder and harder to do breath hold dives and actually do a project. Uh, I've changed propellers just recently without a hookah. Um, oh my God, that was one of the hardest things I've done in life, to have to go down there and you just can't go up because you're trying to get a fastener started. Then you go up and breathe for a while and then go down and finish that fastener and move to the next. Uh, hookah makes all the difference, makes life really pleasant. Thanks so much for watching. If you like the video, please, please push the like button. If you have any questions, uh, that's what the comments are for. Um, I'll put links to all of the gear that I can think of down in the description below. I uh, hope it'll make you easier to find the bits and pieces. I know this one can be hard to find. And uh, well, bye from Temptress.